recording. <laughs> you see yourself okay? I can edit this. How do we look? I think we think we look good. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's a know. good mustache. It's, a, it's big. No, it's it's fine. It's ridiculous. Your hair. Now, your hair is a different conversation. Well, that's... Okay, what's up, guys? So, okay. So, um, we're here to talk about Kanye West opera, Nebuchadnezzar. This is my friend Arnold. Um, I went to see with Arnold yesterday, so I figured he would be here for, for this part so we can talk Time about it. for moral it. support. Yes. Our, Arnold is another opera singer. Right. Uh, he's a tenor. Um, are you going to sing something? Maybe later. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> opera singers hate that, by the way. So we hate when I'm put on the spot like, hey, sing something. Like, no, don't do that to us, by the way. Sure. Um, so, but that's not what we hear. Okay, so the opera. So we went to go see it last night at the Hollywood Bowl. Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. So I went in. Okay, for, for, wait. First of all, I want to start this off by saying I almost didn't want to touch this video or do this because Kanye is such a polarizing figure, you True. know, True. even True. more so now with his music. But... You know, it's it, buzz. There's a lot of buzz. I have to talk about that opera. Yeah. It's like, especially being opera singers. Exactly. So, uh, did I introduce myself? My name is Baba Tunde, by the way. Bobby. If you don't know who I am, I'm Arnold. Um, and <laughs> Arnold. Okay. Uh, here's the thing if you have like your personal things about Kanye as a person or politically or whatever. We're not even talking about Yeah, that. I'm not like, I, that's not like for right, for the purpose of this video, I'm like, okay, as a musician, as Kanye. The hip hop artist, mayonnaise colored bands I push miracle whips, <laughs> Kanye, the opera creator. We're not talking about like. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, we're not. We're even talking about, about the that. music. Talking about the music, and as that goes, okay. So I didn't know what to expect with this opera coming in, and so I was like, I was trying to, because I wanted to do the thing where I was like, I'll just go in with a blank slate and just like you know see, but. That never really happens, and I realized, like, okay, it's Kanye West, and it says operas, Nebuchadnezzar. I was like, okay, what to... So I was like, what I finally decided to... how Like, the, the mindset to walk in on this is just mm. like, okay. I was like, okay, this is 21st century opera. Because you always compare things to something else. So I was like, okay, what am I going to compare this to? I'm going to compare it to other 21st century operas mm. that I've seen. Fortunately... Or have been a part of. Or been, or been a part of. 21st century opera 21st century opera that's what yeah, it was like they all come although there has been some discussion on whether it was an opera or what really what and what what it was honestly you know? that really that that kind of drives me nuts because what there, do you think of, you know what i'm talking about well yeah and i get why because you know it's it's different from this the standard typical operas from like the 1800s and stuff like that right but as far as 21st opera 21st century opera goes it's not weird at all and that was the thing that kind of drove me nuts because there's you know there are one man operas there are operas where no one sings at all there's like mm. i did an opera where where all of the music was improvised once like the orchestra like all of us all of the music in front of the audience each night was improvised and no one ever questioned whether that was an opera at all. It was just like, oh, this opera is like this. Oh, this opera is different because, but no, but all of a sudden with Kanye, it's like, is this even an opera? I'm like, yes, yes, it was an opera. Well, there's a New York Times article that came out okay. that says it's a, more of an oratorio than an opera, but. See, I just don't, I, I don't find it. To be an oratorio because first of all it's it was staged. It was so heavily staged. It was like, staged. It's like no. Wait, I want to talk about going into the Yeah, opera we gotta talk we so, gotta talk about what we saw out from yeah. there were so many different people. Yeah, I was like types of people. And I was wondering like what to expect with the crowd too, first of all, because that's the kind of the exciting part about going mm. to concerts for me. Mm -hmm. Like non classical concerts because the crowd is like always such a mix. Oh, and this was my first pop yes. icon our, our... concert. Like I never bought tickets to a Big show. Everything you've seen up to this point was have been like the opera been... or like you know recitals. Gotcha. Or like, yeah. I mean, I've been to a. I'm from a small town, so I've been to a country concert. Like, but I. <laughs> um, so we're so we're we're walking up, and the the crowd was like a heavy mix of you get the Christian crowd and the old Kanye crowd. It was, it was dope. We had Josh Groban right in front of us. That was fun. You know. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Ran into Sean T too, which was, oh, which I was, was actually, not there for that. He went to get popcorn. I went to get I was popcorn. I had waiting. to get my popcorn, and I saw Sean I T walk by. I was like, "Hey, Sean T!" Who else did we run into? We ran. Into, oh, we got shoved aside for Brad Pitt. 
Oh, oh right. Yeah, that was when we were. We were with the misfits on the the outer, the outskirts, in the backstage area. And they were and, coming uh, by with like a, a train of people, and the guys in front was like, "What did they say? Hug the walls! Hug, hug the walls! Wall. Hug the walls, guys!" Hug I was like, wall. "Hug the walls! Like for who? Oh, who? Right. I was like, oh, Brad Pitt. by the way, like we've all seen Brad Pitt in movies, and he's like good looking in movies. Brad Pitt is ridiculously good looking. Ridiculous. <laughs> like in real life, I was like, oh, it's Brad Pitt. But then I was like, he walked by, and it struck me. It was like. Yeah, he's, he's a, a, he's really a, he's a good-looking yeah. look I gotta say, I mean, he is. Yeah, what was I gonna say? Uh, so we I lost there. my train of thought. Yeah, to be right? honest. <laughs> <laughs> so we got in, got our seats, and we waited for a while for the concert to start. And the concert finally started a little, I think it was like a little two hours. A little late? A little, a little after two hours. After a she, little so late. I think the concert was supposed to start at four. Two hours late, a little late. And it started at uh, like a little bit after six. But... It started. And it so, started the opening scene was epic. You had the choir coming in from like all around the sides. And it, the, it was epic. The music started and it was... I dope. felt like, I felt like my body was buzzing with that opening sequence. It and was... like the King Nebuchadnezzar wailing. Like I thought that whole, it sounded cool. It, it looked cool. Mm-hmm. I liked the opening. Yeah. It was really cool. Me too. Me too. I liked it. I liked the music. I was immediately like... Okay, this I can do it. Because bear in mind, I'm coming into this like as if someone invited me. Like, hey, Baba Tuna, you want to come see a 21st mm-hmm. uh, century opera? Mm. Let's go. And I was like, okay, cool. And that's how I went in seeing this. And immediately I was like, okay, this music is dope. Like, and I shouldn't have been... That was the one thing I went in expecting. I expected the music to be dope. Because I don't agree with everything Kanye West has ever said or done. Mm. But the man knows music, man. He knows good music. He knows how to put together he start a record music. Label. Yeah, he he does. Maybe good music. Anyway, they must have done a lot of work, but you could tell it was rushed. But that's one thing I wanted to say about the whole entire thing is it felt really rushed. It did. It it did. Some of it felt I don't want to say thrown together, but um, I will say. It like most experiences that's what I was going to say most of, was, exactly and then and you got, as soon you as got I thought, the, remember the 21st dime. century you're opera I was dime. like okay this is this is how we roll I expected going into it like pyrotechnic type uh, I know, I know, I, I probably shouldn't have, but that's I, well, no, like, I get it. The Kanye West like, factor. It's Kanye West. Like, I want, like, I don't know that the source material was so good. Like the burning furnace. I know, like that's most the fiery like furnace. That. Scenario. Yeah, you could have done the could have used the fiery furnace. I'm just saying, like that's like but, how much does fire cost? I'm, if they had the furnace, they would have had to have so much else. Yeah, I could have feel you on like ex- expecting like pyrotechnics and stuff like that. I wasn't, <clears throat> even though like it was Kanye West, but it was still opera. It was like I went in expecting an opera, and like we don't really do pyrotechnics. Like, can you imagine the paperwork we'd have to go through in the like, rehearsal process with us? And, and then like someone's gonna like cough because of the smoke, and it's gonna have to restage it because yeah, it's never like we're too we're too bougie for that. We're too fancy <laughs> like opera singers. I mean, we do fire on stage, but it's not yeah, it's, it's not, not the fiery it. furnace. <laughs> like, hey Kanye, if you do this again, he needs this fiery. I furnace. need the furnace. Just man. give give him the furnace. Like just, I mean that's. <clears throat> It's it's a it's an important part of the story. I so think. anyway, one thing I would have liked is, and these are things that are more common in like traditional operas, but having super titles, which are kind of like sub uh, subtitles, but they're like super um, sub soup. Even though like the the narration was in English and the story, you can kind of follow the storyline. Well, it we always just generally like being able to follow along visually. Also, in the Hollywood Bowl, they have those giant screens on the side. I'm like, oh, I could have used did, those. They're black. They Could didn't. It, yeah, they was, didn't show anything. I don't all know the time. why. Why I would love a close up of and, what was going on. And we were what, pretty close. We were pretty close. I felt bad for the people like in the in the nosebleeds. Like yeah. they couldn't see what was going on. I could barely see what was going yeah, on. Yeah, that was that was just one thing. What was the other thing? Um, oh, programs. Programs. Um, Art. No artist credit. Yeah, that was like. And I get. And this is another thing. It could be where, deliberate. I, well, or I don't. Mean, I don't even say a, a hip hop. Well, that's, yeah, that's because like the, the you go to a hip hop concert and you know who's you know who's performing, and if someone right. else shows up, they're like, "Hey, ladies and gentlemen, right. Sheck West." By the way, I was hot when I realized that Nebuchadnezzar was Sheck West the whole time. I found like I had box well, seats. I found that I'm out like, later too. you can't like once again like without the close ups and using on side screen. I couldn't tell it was Sheck West, and I was like, I was kind of <laughs> was kind of sad because I always wanted to go to Sheck, especially when Mo Bamba was hot. Especially I saw a performance with him. Have you? Oh, no, I saw a performance. 
Ugh. It was just I dope. It was it was, it was just the energy level was just ah! mm-hmm. okay, Anyway, okay, okay. okay, so um, He did have a lot of energy, that's for Sheck sure. West has no shortage of energy. I think like, like he was so energized he forgot a portion of his staging. That you know <laughs> so, I don't know what happened there, but it was it was funny, it was funny to watch yeah. at the very least. It was, like, it was like, entertaining. But and also this is a this is a notable thing. That was like the one hiccup. That really happened as far as like the performance goes that we could tell. There were some stall moments that that could have been oh, cleaned up, but like, like... I, I feel like they it just seemed like everything was really rushed and for rehearsal time. I can only imagine. I yeah, I would love I to hear from the, the actual performers, like okay. Look, I wanted to talk about the singing. Because Let's do it's the singing. Opera. What'd you think? Those were opera singers. Those were opera singers. There was some like here's the thing so I got into this conversation with some people because, like, opera singers, like those of us who work in opera and do operas, um, we're we're very particular about who gets to call themselves opera singers, mm-hmm. which is kind of a, a like a messy. A, wait, are we cursing on this? I'm not cursing on this video. Not, not this <laughs> one, but it's like it's, you do it's, what your heart tells you. About it, to it's, a, it's such a lame thing because, like, you and I both know singers that are opera singers that work in operas that you know, have gone through training and their voices are, we'll say they sing at like a six out of 10. Mm. Now we do also know singers that are more like musical theater right. training. And, but when they sing opera in their mind, like, oh, I'll try, I'll sing opera. It sounds like more of a seven. Whereas this person's technically an opera singer, but they don't sing as well as someone. I've heard some criticism about some of the voices like that. Oh, you know, there are more gospel singers and some of them like, no, so, like there were a few opera voices, like oh yeah, they're op- like they have some classical training, but they're not opera singers. And I was just like, no, nah, that was opera because opera. I'm like I I very recently just did an opera where the singers are, and for the purpose of the characters and storyline, some of them were trained opera singers, some of them are gospel singers, some of them are musical thing. But we're putting on a legit opera, and those voices needed to have those those textures for those reasons. They were projecting their voices and singing from their souls, and it was beautiful. It was beautiful. So, the that baritone, was beautiful singing. The baritone did something vocally, and that was be- it was beautiful. It was so good. I had some recordings. I want to go back and hear it, but it was just some some of the ways he was playing with his voice. I was like, yeah. okay, all right, yeah. I'm listening. I'm here for this. I remember the the baritone aria. He was the character of Daniel, yeah. from what I recall. Yeah, and um, he just had this what I thought might have been an improvised. And, Aria. He, and some parts of it I over, was like, Is over that... some vocally driven dramatic singing from the choir. Yeah. Beautiful opera course that sang the entire production like bravo to them. Bravo. Bravo By to way, them. Any of you guys are watching Bravi this, you guys are this is kind of how the hop opera went down. Um, you have narration going the whole time, which is Kanye West. And I don't know if he was like, so it's verses from the Bible that kind of tell this story. Of he tweeted it. He tweeted it while the, he was the pages, the pages oh. of the Bible that he was reading. So he's reading from, from a, a literal text. Bible on the stage. That he was, was off the cool. stage left. The ensemble's on stage the whole time, and they're wearing these like tan linen outfits. There, where it was actually really cool look with the stage especially for some of the other scenes where it was like packed a gang of people on stage but something still they still they still look like there was space because everyone's like because of the, the choice of colors and lighting mm-hmm. you Great. had nebuchadnezzar who was like acting out the emotions and the storyline of what was going on he was not singing he was vocalizing sometimes it was like a fiction a word a cry or yeah like, a cry out or an emotional thing or like one word that he would repeat over and over that was significant i didn't know in what, that scene. what language it was but well i think the first thing he was saying was judah which, judah yeah that yeah. was yeah he was and crying then judah. the ensemble singing the whole time and they're singing some of them are just like some of them are just random syllables others are just like ma- latin phrases yeah the majority of the text i think was taken from the requiem but there were some I thought texts about it, but that there was some like I was just like okay it's just Latin I don't know if they just translated certain phrases to Latin but it was well they, like, I remember them saying Benedictus and yeah. I remember them saying Miserere a lot of Deus I could make up that's part of the problem is like there was no text the super to guide us like I, I heard a lot of Latin but yeah they, it was literally just Kanye reading from the Bible the sections of music would change depending on what he had just read yeah I felt like that needed to be clear like. I like in an opera, like I don't know. Are I you wanted about to the transition. Yeah, the transitions, okay. like the endings, need to be stronger in order for like the people to know. Okay, like this next section's 
going to begin. I, I don't know. It, no, I, I don't. It, they, okay, none of it right. had a, nothing had a very strong ending to it. A button, if you will. I agree. But, but that could have been intentional. Well, it, it makes me think of Wagner. <clears throat> No one had less endings than Wagner, except when he got to the ending, ending, that mm. he ended it. So the ending was uh, awkward, in my opinion. That's, I will go with you on that word. Because the end, so the ending was, the, the, the last scene was... From where we were sitting. It was epic. I don't care where you were it, sitting. That was dope. It was. Oh, it oh was, you're saying I mean, how the vague the, like the, the, the vague, how vague yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but, but so, I mean, yes, it was epic. Like, yeah. everybody gets Well, off. no, let's, ju- let's jump to the end, then we'll go back. So yeah. the ending, I think the general consensus was... Is it over? Yeah. Did it end? And I think the simple thing they didn't do that we do a lot in opera is just take just take the lights out. Just drop the lights or a curtain, but you don't have curtains at the mm. bowl. Yeah, and I mean, it was a lot of singing and every everyone was raising their hands. Yeah. Like, yeah, the end, but the, yeah, the ending. So. Including the audience. Like, but it felt right. It felt right. It felt, it felt, and it was, and that's mm-hmm. one thing I think that's also kind of, um, I don't want to say it's missing from opera because that's not, it's never been an opera, but I think the audience kind of likes having some way of part or the option to participate in mm. some way to be like brought in as part mm-hmm. of it. And especially with the ending, because epic and they're singing, they were singing uh, Total Praise, the. Uh, the Amen Amen. section. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Um, but the words were, what was it? Rex, uh, Rex Schellen, wait. Schellen, Schellen, yeah. That's going to drive me nuts. I know. It was. It was glory epic. to the king, Gloria Rex Gloria Gloria Rex something like that. I'll look it up. Dang, that's gonna drive me nuts now. I, I remember. Anyway, um, but it was cool. <laughs> For those of you who know the ending of Total Praise and the way that Amen kind of feels and look like using that as the ending, I thought was was brilliant, really special the, for... I think the, the, maybe the ending may not have hit as hard for me because it was so vocally driven. Uh huh. It was one texture the entire time, basically. You know, gotcha, what I mean? yeah, yeah. it was so vocally dri- driven, almost like the orchestra was secondary. Yeah, but that's and that's one thing I kind of that is one thing I kind of came in expecting with Kanye. I was a little nervous because it was like even like old school Kanye has always had this. Um, I don't want to say obsession, but he's like been a big fan of the human voice. It's like he uses so many vocal samples I'm just like he likes the voice he's about the voice so I expected this to be vocal heavy uh, I was glad for for the way he used voices throughout the opera you know as a texture kind of like we do with the orchestras it's like they were singing yeah and that that is one of the reasons why I really think it was opera because they were they were they were expressing what was in their soul and they were projecting it out for everyone to hear and it was trained, beautiful, and powerful. What? How is that not opera? And it was staged. I am not arguing with you at all. That, that's beautiful singing right there. That is singing. So, I don't, in my book, that's opera. You know, real singing. I love you, Arnold. <laughs> so, overall, I guess to say, I really liked the opera. I thought it was dope. As far as 21st Opera, because I've been a part of shittier operas. Oh, wait, I wasn't cursing. I've been a part of 21st <laughs> Opera, 21st Century Operas that were not anywhere near as good as Kanye's opera. So that was very, it was pleasing to the ear. You know, I haven't really said if I liked it or not yet, but it's hard to say because I, I definitely tuned some sections out. Like I was just like, there's so much going on and I'm trying to hear the story and there's so much thing, so many things that I yeah. want to happen. Like I need some more inf- information. Like, yeah, I don't know what, but, like that. Cause I'm with you. There was some parts where I kind of like tuned it out or tuned up, but uh, I kind of do that in every opera at some point. Like, and you have to, yeah, and but, that's it. It's like, oh, I, and I keep having to, and I it's feel like opera. I realized it was opera at one, at a couple <laughs> points. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, I know what you, I know what you mean. That's yeah. so bad to say, but you know what I but mean. But no, I know what you mean. Especially, you know, I should preface. I should say that it wasn't. It wasn't that. It was. I felt like it was bad opera at a couple. Of, you know what I mean? Yes. No. No. I know what you. I know what you're saying. I know what it you're saying. It's not like, like real. It reminded it just, you. It of reminded me some of experiences some you've had in operas that weren't lesser. Very entertaining. Or yeah. Exciting. Yes, gotcha. Okay. I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. One thing I think, or one of the many things I think that 
could be taken from this for the opera community, especially people who are still writing new operas, is this opera was an hour long. And in 2019, we don't need a whole lot more than that. Like, I mean, the, the three hours of music, that's cool, but I can't do it. I just, I can't, like, it's like... Unless you were like, unless you're bringing the heat, right. if you are bringing like a real, like interesting, like I'm on the edge of my seat the whole time, like I'll do three hours of that. But bear in mind, you know, like one of the, what was it? The last Avengers movie was like over three hours and people were like, mm, I waited 10 years for this, but three hours is a long. So that was one thing I was like, oh, it's only an hour long. That's cool. Yeah. Give me the story. Give but me the entertainment. But it did feel, it, unfortunately at a couple points it felt long. Me. Yeah, no, it did. It did. That can happen in anything, I guess. Yeah, but like, that's that's the one thing I kept. Every time I had like a feeling that was like, like a criticism, I was like, okay, am I judging this fairly? Am I has have you experienced this in other operas? I was just like, mm, yeah, yeah. With a lot of that, Good point. I have yeah, I would be really night. interested to know how much pressure was on these performers because that I know as a performer, like that can be what tips the the show one way or another, and and there there were enough hiccups I feel like in in the presentation that... another thing I'm wondering is how many times because typically in our world they usually workshop an opera a few times before it's on stage in front of yeah I, people I feel like this is... you can tell me maybe in like the, the hip-hop world do they well it's not a, well if I'm thinking I mean, of this in opera like, like has, I don't think this has been workshopped or more to the point I think we saw the workshop maybe and, and we saw the first iteration of that. Because I'm pretty sure if it was performed somewhere else, you know, it, yeah. I hope they do it again because there was a lot. Yeah. I can't call it a criticism, but there was a lot. It was kind of one of those shows where it's just like, okay, I'm going to need to see that again to take it all in. It was very well attended. Yeah. Packed. Packed. I haven't seen the bowl that. That's one of the most well attended operas I've ever been to. And that's the, and I think I'm gonna like kind of end on this point. That's one thing that kind of tying this all the way back to my point about the, um, about people wanting to know whether this was an opera or not, or whatever. Mm. It was an opera that was popular enough where I ran to Shanti, you know, Josh Groban came to see there, uh, came there, Brad Pitt was there, magazines and newspapers there, mm. like watching it. And it was, I've never seen the bowl that packed. So I, I really get really irked when something like that comes across that's like ha having some attachment to the opera community and we immediately throw it under a microscope right. and scrutinize it's like is this opera totally. like is this like is this really opera it's like how was how right. was it and then opera has a nerve to be irritated when they're having trouble bringing in new young audience when they when they come sideways at anything that's like not a hundred percent pure oldest opera I'm like cut it out it's like stop the it singing was beautiful like honestly oh. even if it wasn't like your cup of tea even if it wasn't even as an opera singer it's just like eh, I didn't like it as far as the industry goes right now oh there's a lot of people saying this is not opera people well whatever y'all need to start embracing the things. 21st century <laughs> apparently exactly the music that's like popular now so like these instances of people doing like weird things and, and I know it sounds like I'm kind of well, like opera defending was myself. opera the, the popular music of its time. Don't get me started on that. That's another, I'll, be here, I'll be here forever. <laughs> how it's, it's like, so for, to keep it short, opera was the popular music for a long time. And the reason opera stayed so popular for so long, it's, it kept evolving with the time period. It kept incorporating new elements and I gotta do a video about this. Yeah, later yeah, on. yeah, you should. Either way, it, like, it kept doing that. But at some point, I don't know if it was like the advent of the like recording equipment, they decide to like, throw it in amber and case it. And like, I mean, we have 21st century opera, but essentially, if you drift too far away from, you know, Wagner, Mozart, Bellini, it's like, you know, you're you're given the side eye and you need to explain yourself. And it's like, and if you're definitely from the popular world and you try and like touch opera, it's like, no, we don't want our opera to be popular. Don't touch it. And it was like, mm -hmm. why is our opera not popular? How do we make it accessible? I'm like, cut it out. Yeah. What's wrong with you? It feels like I'm like, I'm like saying this in defense of myself. The only reason I'm saying this now is because I'm good. Like, I like I love working in the opera community, but I'm, I, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not scared of the opinions anymore. To, to put a button on what I think about it is there were a lot of things that I didn't like. Mm -hmm. There were a lot of elements that I thought could have been executed much better. Mm -hmm. All that to say is it was opera. There was beautiful singing in it. There were people bearing their souls. 
and it was beautiful to watch and hear. And uh, despite all the things wrong with it, I, I, I'm glad I went. And yeah. I want more. I, I, that's the thing is, at the end, I was like, it's over. I think like that's a good thing. Like, it if is a good want, thing. If you want more. I hope he does another one. I hope he builds on top of this because it's exciting. It's an exciting... Because think about it. For someone who's not from opera, never done an opera before, I'm excited for what he does next time. Me too. Yeah. I, I would love to see another opera from from Kanye. Like, and that's the other thing is like he really didn't perform in it that much. It was. It was like, oh, he's put on an opera. He's created an opera. I didn't think he would be the star of it. I kind of wanted him to perform. <laughs> yeah, that would have been dope. It would have been, been nice been to have him dope perform. If he but that's like part of his somewhere. journey right now, right? Yeah, he's like I mean, removing he's... himself and like creating more. I like, see that. Like... I see that. I see that. But I mean. <laughs> I could have used a little bit. <sighs> One beat drop would have been nice. I, you know me, I like beat drops in opera. Hey, Figaro, 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 Figaro. Yeah, but all that to say, so I think Kanye. You liked it. Yeah. I think I liked it. I, I'm like, there were things I didn't like about it, but overall, liked it. Yeah, overall, like glad I went. Want more? Yes. Um, I liked it. I want to check out the live stream. I want to see what the film version is like. Oh, yeah. What the, I wonder if they got more. Because there were some that. cameras that were much closer to the stage. Yeah, they were like, like zzz, zzz, all above us. How about like this? Thanks. Okay. Zzz. Not, okay. Like bees. Just, just like bees, yeah. Camera bees. Camera bees. Uh, what, the, what the hell was I saying? <laughs> the, all that to say. Oh, so I, I, I liked it. I'm excited for more. I liked it as much as I liked... It was my favorite 21st century. Ooh, wait. Ooh. Ooh, wait. It's in my top three 21st century operas. That's that's pretty big. Century opera. Yeah. Like it is, I cuz like I I liked the music. I liked the I liked the staging. There were some things I didn't like, you know, just like and I hate I I don't like saying that just because that's true literally true for everything I like except for popcorn. Oh, it gets stuck in your teeth for like 2 days. So yeah, if it's happening again and you haven't seen it, go see it. If the live stream is available, you can on like, title. I guess the title. Yeah, app. but it's you can still watch it, right? All right, but that's if you it. were in it, I want to yeah. hear from you. Please, like I'm trying to think what we awesome. said. Because I just realized that people who are in it are probably going to see this. Eh. Hopefully, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> Edit all the stuff that's bad. Okay, all the bad stuff you're not going to see. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later. All right, ciao. <laughs>